What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Katie and on today's video I have my weekly grocery haul here for you. Um, we did go to Kroger this week and I did not film inside the store because I had all three boys with me and we also went later in the day than we normally do. So Owen had swim lessons and then we went afterwards. So the stores were pretty busy and I didn't want to try to film in the stores and then like try to keep up with the kids and what they were doing. So it was just easier to do it this way and just show you everything that we bought at home. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, starting over here with the produce like we normally do, I got two of the salad kits from Taylor Farms. So the dill pickle one is my favorite, and then I also got the everything bagel one. It's really good too, I like both of them. This one's my favorite, but I just wanted you know a variety. I like to eat those for lunches, and I was going to buy like regular lettuce and make my own salads, like the bagged lettuce, but they didn't look very good. So I just went with these instead. I also got a grapefruit, um, a red onion, a white onion, and then four tomatoes. And then four, I think these are the white nectarines. They felt really good, so we can eat those pretty soon for snacks. And then we also got some strawberries back there. So as you guys can see, I do not have a lot of fresh produce this week. And the reason for that is that we have a ton of stuff in the freezer that needs to be used up. So I have a lot of frozen fruit, so we're gonna have smoothies this week. And I also have a lot of frozen vegetables that we're gonna use as sides. And my freezer is just like jam packed and I need to get things out of there. So a lot of the meals that we're having this week are using things in the freezer. So that's why you don't see a lot of fresh produce. I also got an orange juice. I like to use this for smoothies. And like I said, I'm planning on making smoothies this week. Um, I bought some Greek peppers for salads. I bought Logan his zesty dill pickle spears. I got two jars of those because they were on sale and he will eat a whole jar by himself. So I have to buy two jars if anybody else wants any. I also bought some apple cider apple cider vinegar and I use this for a recipe it's like a barbecue crock pot chicken recipe I can link it below but I have some chicken in the freezer that I need to use up and that's one of our favorite like chicken recipes so I figured I would make that this week I also got some um, garlic stuffed olives those are our favorites I don't think Mark likes those but me and like two of the boys like those so we'll eat those I also got some hot sauce from Taco Bell we usually get the mild sauce but Logan wanted to try the hot one and I was thinking about making some beans like in the crock pot just for me and him because we're the only ones who use this. And I have some beans that I need to use up in the pantry and um, some tortillas that I need to use. So he wanted the hot sauce. So we'll eat this with like taco beans, like with taco seasoning in them. And then just some cheese. It'll be like a really simple lunch, but that'll be fine for me and him. And then I bought some eggs. So I'm gonna be baking a little bit this week and then just, you know, to have for breakfast as well. I also bought some ground beef. I have some ground beef in the freezer, but I did need one more pack for um, another recipe. I'm gonna be using that twice this week. Then I got some sliced cheddar for like sandwiches and then some shredded cheddar. I also got some beef broth, beef broth back there for a recipe. And then I got some chickpeas. This wasn't for a recipe, but I kind of did a little bit of pantry stock up this week as well, since I was kind of trying to use up what's in the freezer, I figured, our pantry is actually pretty empty. It's like the opposite of our freezer. We have our freezers overflowing and our pantry was like kind of empty. So um, I'm trying to fill up the pantry with some things. So we love garbanzo beans. I love to have these on salads. And then my mom makes like a three bean salad with like kidney beans, green beans, and then these that I really like, especially in the summertime. So I figured I might make that. I don't know if I'll make it this week, but you know, these will last for a while. So I can make it sometime soon. This is random here, but um, Mark needed a new toothbrush. So I just went ahead and bought a four pack so that I can replace a bunch of our toothbrushes. And then we needed some more Q-tips. So I got some of those. Um, back to like the pantry stuff. Liam wanted some of this Velveeta mac and cheese. He likes this better than like the Kraft mac and cheese. So um, I told him we would get that. I bought some chili beans. We are gonna have taco soup this week. Surprise, we have that all the time. But um, I bought some chili beans. So we should have, we'll probably use two of these for taco soup and then we'll have two left over. Um, I'm also stocking up a little bit on green beans. I don't really have a plan for these, but we didn't have any more. And I love to eat green beans sometimes just like by themselves with butter and salt and pepper. Um, so I bought four cans of those. I bought two cans of diced tomatoes. We use those a lot for taco soup and chili. And then the barbecue sauce is for my barbecue crock pot chicken recipe. I got a couple, three cans of corn, three cans of corn. So we need one for taco soup and then we just don't have any corn. And that's another thing that I like to eat sometimes just by itself. Logan also likes to do that. Um, I bought some kidney beans, just two of those. And then we got four things at Rotel. They were like four for $5. And we use those all the time for um, taco soup and chili. 
Um, I also got some vanilla extract for um, baking and I'm almost out of that because I've been making cho chocolate chip cookies lately. So I need more of that. And then I got some chili seasoning packs. I actually didn't need these. I'm not making chili this week, but sometimes I can't find these when I'm looking for them. Like only certain stores have this kind, it seems like, and I like this one. So I just went ahead and got it while I was there and kind of stocking up. Um, I also got the Olive Garden Italian dressing. Um, I don't need it because I didn't end up getting salads that don't have their own dressing because the salad kits have their own dressing that comes with it. But um, Logan and Mark both love this dressing. So next time we have salads, um, they can have that because sometimes I forget to buy things. So we'll just have that on hand for next time. The SpaghettiOs are for Mark, not for the boys. Um, so he loves the SpaghettiOs with meatballs. He's like a big kid. So I bought him three of the big cans of those. And then I got five cans of black beans because we use these all the time and they were a really good price. I think they're usually like a dollar a can and they were like 70 something cents a can. So I went ahead and got five of those. I maybe should have bought more, but I didn't want to go too wild stocking up. Then I got boiled peanuts for the boys. I have three boys and they all love these boiled peanuts. I got these giant jars. Um, this is the hot and spicy and then they got the regular too. They like both. I think they like the spicy better, but they like both of them. So we got one of each of the big jars. And then we got some ciabatta rolls for a pasta night. And I also got breadsticks. So the boys like breadsticks better than the, the ciabatta rolls. But also sometimes the boys just to like, like to eat breadsticks, like not on the side of anything. Like they just like eating breadsticks for like a snack. So I got two boxes of the breadsticks and then one box of ciabatta rolls. And then I got four of these sparkling waters um, just to kind of mix it up with our drinks. Um, there's a couple of different flavors. I think the black and blueberry and then the mixed berry. And then I got a peach. And then I bought my caramel macchiato. I like the mocha one better, but Kroger doesn't have it. I can only get that at like Walmart or Publix. So I had to get the caramel one this time. It's also good. I bought some distilled vinegar back there for cleaning. I love to clean the sinks with that, with like um, baking powder and then vinegar. It works really well. Then we're moving on to snacks now. I got Mark a big box of the extra toasty Cheez-Its. He also wanted these townhouse flip crackers. It's like Ritz on one side and then a pretzel on the other side. He loves these. I don't really think they're very good, but he loves them. So I got him a box of those. The cantina chips are kind of my snack because I'm, I think I'm the only one who eats them, but I love chips and salsa. We already have salsa, but I need some chips. The Fritos, of course, are for our taco soup. We have to buy those every time we make taco soup. And then I got a couple of other bags of chips. Not that we needed them, but they were on sale. These are like the Kroger brand. They were like $1.99 and I thought that was a really good price, especially compa compared to like Lay's or another like name brand. So I got the original like wavy ones and then the barbecue ones because the boys will love those. And then I also got some ciabatta rolls for our barbecue chicken sandwiches, the ones that we're gonna make in the crock pot. So that's what those are for. And then down here, I bought a big thing of sparkling ice. So that's like an 18 pack and it has like the strawberry watermelon, the black cherry, and then I think it's like lemon lime. I can't really tell from, yeah, lemon lime. And then they had the Kool-Aids on sale. They were like two for $5, I think. And I, I think they're normally over $3, like $3.99 or something now, something crazy. They used to be like $2.50 all the time. And now since prices have gone up, they're like closer to $4, it seems like. So I went ahead and got like seven of those. And I hope the boys don't go through, through these all in a week. I don't think that they will. I'm hoping this will last us for two weeks, but we'll see. I also needed some cat food. So I went ahead and got two big things, the 24 pack cans of cat food, because I feel like I'm going out to buy cat food all the time now. So I just got two big boxes of it so that it would last for a while. I also got some dry cat food. So I've been giving them, I have two cats. I've been giving them each a can in the morning and at night. So I think that's why we're going through the, the food so fast. So instead I'm gonna give them each a can of the wet food in the mornings and then at night, they're just gonna have the dry food. So hopefully that will make the wet food last longer because it is expensive. And then I bought the dogs, of course, some treats. So they love these sweet potato and chicken treats. So those are for the dogs. All right, guys, so that is everything we bought. Um, I don't remember the total off the top of my head, but it was well over $300, but like 60 or $70 of that at least, maybe more, I'll have to add everything up, but at least $70 of that was pet products. So I will write out in the description box below the total amount that we spent and then how much we spent on grocery items for us and then how much comes out of the pet budget because those are two separate budgets for us. 
So um, we did spend a lot on pet things this week and hopefully though, we won't have to buy anything else for the cats. That's not true, I'm gonna have to buy cat litter. But hopefully I won't have to buy any more cat food for them next week, maybe I can just buy litter. And then I think the dogs are set on their food because we bought it at Costco not too long ago. And then we have treats now. So hopefully we'll be fine besides the cat litter, but we're kind of running out of pet money. So it's going to have to work out, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.